and this video is a quick introduction to our web uploader, which allows you to upload, combine, and batch edit photos and sounds, then submit them to iNaturalist. I've got a few photos and a sound I'm going to use as examples, so let's get started. Now from anywhere on iNaturalist, I can mouse over my screen name in the upper right hand corner and click Add under Observations. From here, I can either drag and drop the photos I want to upload or choose them from a menu. I'll go with the former option for this video. Once I've dragged in my photos, iNaturalist will upload each one as a card in the main workspace right here. Keep in mind, the photos have not been added as observations in iNaturalist yet. That won't happen until you hit the green Submit button in the upper right hand corner. Now that the observation cards are all in my workspace, I can start editing them. I can edit a single observation by clicking on it and entering the information either directly on the card or in this area on the left hand side. You'll see that Geo Privacy, Captive Cultivated, Tags, Projects, and Observation fields are all on the left hand side as well. To add an identification, I can click in the Species Name field and iNaturalist will suggest visually similar species. Or I can begin typing in a common or scientific name and choose from the drop down menu. To add or edit location information, I'll click on the location space here. You'll see that a location editor pops up and I can type a place into the search bar at the top. Note that this will not search iNaturalist curated places. It's simply a Google Maps name search to get you to the right area. And then from here, I can pick a point and drag these control dots in the circle to show the accuracy level of my location. Once I'm done here, I'll click Save to get back to my workspace. There's no sound recognition software on iNat, so you'll have to type in the species name. Now these two photos are of the same organism, so I'd like to combine them into one observation. I can either select them both and click Combine up at the top, or drag one card onto the other and voila, they've been merged into one. I'd already added a location and species name in the photo's metadata, which iNaturalist has read, so that's all taken care of. Finally, let's say I want to batch edit my cards. I can select certain ones with my mouse, or hit Select All up at the top. Once I've selected the observations I'd like to edit, I can use the forms on the left-hand side to do so. Now that I've edited everything I want to here, I just have to hit Submit and they'll be added to the iNaturalist database. I hope this video will help you streamline your iNaturalist workflow. Happy iNatting!